Well, it's Monday. I'm Stuart, and you're on Sarnet Television. We're going to take a look at a product from Rigid, and it happens to be the Model 2022-1, and Chris is going to assemble it for us. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, Stuart. I have here Rigid Industries 20221 LED Dually Spotlight Kit. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how the kit assembles and how the wiring harness will connect to it. That way you'll have a better idea of what you're getting yourself into when you order this, get it out of the box, and you're ready to get started. Kit includes two spotlight units, wiring harness affixed here with a quick connect. I'm going to start off with affixing the mounting bracket set that's included with each light head. You have a nice powder coated angled bracket here and a small batch of hardware. The bracket itself will slide into the light head like so. It will stay in there for me once I put the bolts in. This is where the rigid kit is really fun. Take your nut certs here and you'll actually drop one down into the channel here. We'll see if we can have the camera zoom in there for me, give you an idea how it's going to sit in there. And actually in, in the nut itself is held in with basically two etched sides similar to the head inside your socket wrench. So the nut stays in place inside the light head housing here. So if I hold it down like so, I can take my bolt, slide it through the opening here, and slowly start to go ahead and thread it in, holding the nut head in its position on the back of the light. So go ahead, grab the screwdriver here with the torque head, cinch the bolts in, Again, give you a close-up look here so you can get a better idea of how this goes together. And same with the other side here as well. So I can take my head, drop it down in, run the bolt through as appropriate, and space my bracket as well. a little bit of a slow start at first, but it'll go in for you with a little bit of ease. I'll go ahead, put the other one together quickly here as well. So now that I have the mounting brackets affixed to both lights, go ahead and show you how the unit's going to wire into its harness that's provided. Nice feature with the harness is it's really a complete plug and play system. I'll show you that here. Take the twist tie off to free up some length. To control your lights here and a plug in point, you have a Deutsch connector which plugs in to each light head here. And there's only one way to do it. It'll slide in nice and tight. You'll hear a little snap, which means it's in place nice and snugly. Great thing with these Deutsch connectors here is it's a complete watertight connection point. Again, connect this one for you, and when you hear the little snap, you'll know that it's in nice and tightly. So wires connected there for the light heads themselves. Move these over here for you. In this bracket I have positioned low, this bracket I have positioned high. Just shows a little bit of versatility in how you can mount them onto your application. You have an inline fuse here, which again is a waterproof housing. Twist cap provided that's very snugly fit. So with that popped off, you have an inline 15 amp fuse. The end of your harness, you have three control wires. 
the control wires here are going to tie in to the control switch that's included with the kit. You have three terminals on the back. The top brass terminal is going to be for the ground. The middle terminal is for the red with the black trace shown on it here. And the top terminal will connect as you see there. Another end of the harness is your lead and ground point. These are what you'll have connected to your vehicle's battery terminals. That way you'll have power as needed when you turn the kit on to activate it for any of your off-road or department needs. Off-road needs a bit more fun. Department needs, very important as well. But let's face it, when it comes to this kind of stuff, it's fun to put it through the paces in the off-road. Connect the ground here. Connect the lead here. I'll go ahead, turn power on. Nice function is, with the inline switch here, you have the ability to control it on and off at any time. So go ahead, flip the switch, blind out the camera. Nice function with the switch here is it's illuminated. So again, turn these this way, give you a better idea of the illumination. That way when your lights are on, you can tell from inside your vehicle as well if they weren't bright enough that you couldn't tell as it is. But more it's for a daytime safety feature to keep you from driving with your high intensity off-road lights on. See, it's a nice red illuminated indicator. So it definitely lets you know when your lights are on, when your lights are off. On the mounting bracket basis here, the kit includes a bottom bolt, lock washer, and flat washer. Those will go ahead, slide through the mounting brackets, and those are what will affix your lights onto any portion of your application. So your front bumper, your rear bumper, your front push bar, your off-road bar on your great big 4x4 dually, or what's really trick, put them on the tabs, use them as windshield lights on your Jeep. The application limits are up to you. Anywhere you want to put them, you can definitely mount them. Again, have Rigid Industries 20221 dually spot LED light kit, how the unit puts together, how the wiring works, how bright they are. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. We greatly appreciate that. As always, many thanks for watching Sino Television.